but we made it even easier um, building the agent recorder. And this is based on feedback from hundreds of subscribers the last few months. Basically, it was still a little, there was still like some fear or friction in going into the editor and clicking buttons and building things. But now we've, we've gotten it to the point where you can just record your actions and you can rebuild the same agent we built in class one that took like 20 minutes to teach how to build and maybe hours to learn how to build after if it's your first time. Now it'll rebuild that whole agent from class one in 30 seconds flat. <laughs> and so that really feels like, um, intuitively, it feels like a good step towards product market fit because it's listening to the customer's problems and solving it much better and easier and faster. Um, it should also make it easier and reduce the friction for building these agents. It solves so many other problems as well. So basically, we built a lot of intelligence into it. It has the ability to detect the initial website, the starting node, and set the starting node for you. Um, that solves a lot of problems and saves a lot of time. Um, it has the ability to, to uh, uh, detect um, double clicks. You can add the magic scraper node. I'm going to go through a demo and show you. You can add the magic scraper node by pressing the insert key or not the print screen screen. I should, I should update, update this. Insert. Insert key or command key on Mac. Um, and then it also has the ability to, when you do like record your key presses, you can instantly turn that into a GPT-4 node. So you, like you can fill out like a social media post, right? And then instead of like having it generate the same post every time, if you turn it into a GPT-4 node, it uses your post as a prompt. So it generates a d completely different post every time. That solves a lot of issues. That makes things a lot faster. Saves like lot of, lots of time, I'm sure. Um, and <clears throat> um, it also... Um, basically, uh, uh, it makes it uh, very easy for you to build these agents using just by recording your keyboard and mouse. And in the future, we have this like research project where you don't even have to have Open Agent Studio installed. You can just like get a recording of what someone's done. Uh, they can just record a video for you, or if you have a recording of what someone's done, you can turn that into an agent. <laughs> just the video recording. I, that's that's the really cool future research to make it as easy as possible to shave off like minutes. We're at 30 seconds now. I think we can get it down to maybe five seconds too. That'd be cool. So, um, like the, the, the motivation for doing this is obviously just to, you know, help customers make it as easy as possible, iterate to product market fit. But there's, there's an interesting story, um, on the early Apple days, you can find this on a website called folklore.org that tells all the old Mac, uh, Macintosh stories from the build development team. And there's a cool story that I like to remember is um, on the f first version of the Mac OS, they, they were trying to get the boot time down because one of the criticisms of Mac was what you might remember in the old versions of Mac, it took like ages to boot up every time, right? And um, Steve Jobs went into the team of the building the, like, the Mac OS team and he tried to motivate them to get the boot time down to like a few minutes or save, save these extra minutes essentially. And the way he did it was he said that if you think, if you think about how many people are gonna buy Macs, right? Millions of people maybe. Um, if you save a few minutes for all of those millions of people and you add up those few minutes, like all of those millions of people, right? Daily for over a year um, across millions of people, that actually adds up to over multiple years multiple lifetimes. If you do the math, it adds up to multiple lifetimes that have been wasted in this boot sequence. And so if you solve this, if you do this for me, if you solve this problem for me, you will actually be saving lives, literally. And so it's like, it's like a really, I thought that was like a really clever way to motivate his team because it, it would actually add up to hundreds of years of the Mac boot time just waiting there for it to boot and you would save lives, yeah. So that was kind of cool, it was clever. Um, that, that, that's one of the motivations, um, interesting stories and um, don't, don't do this in every case. I mean, think about what your customer's problems actually are. If saving time is one of the problems, then focus on that. It's not always the case actually. So um, let's work on the agent recorder demo. Let me show you a cool demo. Let's go to file new. I'm gonna to go to any Twitter tweet. Let's close some of these tabs. We're still streaming good. Okay. So this is actually the same 
agent we built in class one, which you might remember took us 20 minutes or maybe hours to build after class. And we're now gonna generate the whole thing in 30 seconds. So go to fi Product Atlas. Uh, wait, hold on, let me make sure everything is set up correctly. Yeah, we're good. Okay, go to any tweet, whatever you want. Uh, go to Project Atlas, click Start Agent Recorder, and then wait like 30 seconds for a message to pop up in the top left-hand corner. And that indicates that it's uh, run the process of detecting the start node for you. So it's figured out like what website it needs to um, go to basically. Okay, so then you can now use your keyboard or mouse. So I'm gonna move my keyboard and I'm gonna hit the insert key. That will add a magic scraper node. And then I'm gonna click here. Okay, and then I'm gonna type uh, Jenner, uh, eight a funny reply to the tweet i spelled that wrong sorry and then hit the escape key we, we might have to do this again because i spelled it wrong that's okay hit the escape key and then give it um escape key on your keyboard and then give it like 30 seconds to generate the whole graph for you or 10 seconds maybe it's faster so it should be done now cool done so this whole automation which we took maybe five minutes to teach 20 minutes to build last time. It's now been entirely from the first class and now been built in 30 seconds. It adds a magic scraper node if you hit the insert key. So I'm gonna, you have to go back and sometimes edit some of these things. So I'm gonna change the target to be the text of the top tweet on the page. And I recommend checking the start node. Sometimes it hallucinates. We're working on this to make this good. Let me check the start node. Is that correct? Yeah, that looks right. We'll find out. Sometimes it hallucinates the number, but okay, got the start node here. That's one of the cool things that it does. It actually figures out like what website you're automating and fills that in for you. And then let's see here. The other cool thing about it, it like I mentioned earlier, the key press nodes that record your key press, these can be turned into a GPT-4 no mode, which will turn it into, instead of just typing exactly what I typed, uh, it'll turn this into a prompt for us. And then the automation input, I'll use description one as the automation input. And that should be good. Let's run it. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, opening. Oh, it messed something up in the URL. We'll figure, out, we'll figure that out later. Okay. Now it should be scraping. In the top right-hand corner, you can say, see it's scraped. This is the most interesting year in human history. Now it's going to be clicking. Oh, we messed up some things. Okay, here, I'll stop this and run this again. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, yeah, I did the tweet. Oh, actually, it got the tweet right. Okay, let me do this again. I messed up some things. Okay, sorry. So it got the, um, this, it hallucinated, I think, some number here. Let me just get, make sure it gets that right. So check the start node. I can't see what the difference is. Oh, I guess it is different. Okay. Check the start node, and then that should be good. All right, I think that's all we need. Let's just do this again. Run this again. Okay, good. I think it got the tweet this time. And then now it's gonna scrape the tweet on the top right-hand corner. This is the most interesting year in human history, except for all future years. And now you can see it's moving the mouse, actually. It recorded the mouse movement. Now it's also gonna click post your reply. One of the cool things about moving the mouse is that that seems to help it solve captchas. So we, when the pub, in the launch video, we actually like recorded solving a recaptcha, and that worked as well. So I click post to reply. Whoop. Oh, it's doing something. I click something. Sorry. <laughs> I'll do that again. Uh, let me edit this. That says post reply. That should be good. Let me run this again. Uh, no, everything's good. Run this one more time. Okay, opening the program. Moving the mouse. This is the most interesting year. Clicking post to reply. Uh, 
Okay, there it goes. Wow. Okay, yeah, so it got the year thing. So, okay, it's not always funny, but you get the idea. Okay, so basically it regenerates the whole thing. You might have to go back and edit targets and things like that, but it makes it much faster for you to build these automations from end to end, and that's the point of the agent recorder.